This week, Garen and Ellie get started on their own aquaponic system, our old house gets a new paint job, and I whip up some Valentine's cookies. It's getting to that time of year again where it's starting to warm up a little bit, getting close to spring, and starting to think about all the growing that we would love to do. <laughs> Talked to Bryson and we looked at Bryson's aquaponics system. We decided that that would be a really great solution for us too with its low water consumption. We're gonna put together ourselves an aquaponics system. We're gonna do a little bit different design just to try something else out. This was our garden area when I was growing up and I think this is where we're gonna put the aquaponic system. A row of grow beds here, a row of grow beds here, and then the fish tank and your science stuff <laughs> will be over there. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how that's working. <laughs> so we're gonna just kind of clean this area out, take this fence out. Yeah, cut the grass, get grass. those little trellises out, and I got some big holes to dig for some power poles that we ended up getting, which are gonna be perfect for raising our grow beds up off the ground. So you're doing raised grow beds, you're not doing the pipe system like Bryson. Yeah, we're gonna do some raised grow beds, that way the drainage works good. We don't have to pump water in to the grow bed and then pump water back out of the grow bed. We can just pump water into the grow bed and it'll drain back out. Cool, so, yeah. all right. We ready to get started working then? Yeah, let's do it. We headed back out to the old house to do a couple more things. One step towards the mailbox. This mailbox broke. We don't really have a personalized mailbox out where we live. This is like a solo, I'm a cool box. No idea how to put this thing in. Never had to do one of these. Cool mailbox though. know about me. I love trimming trees and around here getting trees at all is pretty exciting. So these are a Palo Verde tree. These are super cool. They have green trunks and when they mature they get kind of a gray bark that goes over the top of them. They're pretty cool trees. Unfortunately they don't grow at the elevation we live at now so we don't have any. Making stuff out of this type of wood would be really interesting. Oh. By the way we learned these are called spears. Oh. So we got two spears in the front of the house. <laughs> we learn new terms from you all the time. So there's a cactus laying on its side. Yeah. And you get to see all the roots. They're like coming out of the ground and like going into the ground. So you're kind of tied, but you really kind of want your own space. You know what I mean? It's one of those relationships, oh, don't you think? Free? This is nice. It's a little trim job here. Can we grow these? I think they now look like trees. They do. They, they were bushes before. They were. Welcome to Brie Barely Bakes. Today we're gonna to be doing cookies. This time we're gonna do chocolate chip cookies but with a twist. Because it's Valentine's Day, we're gonna be making them pink. What could go wrong? So I have all the ingredients here. This is not really my recipe, but you know what is with the internet, we can just have access to you know, mountains of, of these. I believe that these chocolate chip cookies are called the best chocolate chip cookies. And although that title really have the most humility, I think that it actually might be true. So these are really good. My favorite recipe that I found for chocolate chip cookies so far. The ingredients are thus. I've got a cup of butter, a cup of Gotta make sure that you can see the cup real good there. Now this one is Bryson's head and fish. You know, what's not to love? A My Little Homestead certified and winging it. <laughs> anyway, a cup of brown sugar and this wonderful flour, which you might notice looks a little bit like this flour up here. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not supposed to be an infomercial. Gonna get a couple of these eggs in here, preferably without the shells, but you know, if it happens, oh yeah, that's appetizing. A teaspoon of baking soda, a couple teaspoons of vanilla. You're supposed to get kind of fancy with the baking soda. They have you mix it in a couple of teaspoons of water, but I don't obviously take that extra step because that'd be way too much work. Instead, I'm just going to put in the water because I noticed even the little extra water in my own head makes it better. Oh, and some salt. And I'm sure that there's a specific measurement of salt but that's mine. We're gonna give this a mix before we put in the flour. Sufficiently mushed. Now I'm gonna add three cups of flour, very gracefully with no puffs, poofs, or muffs. And then we're gonna go back to our mixer. And gingerly, might I add, <laughs> get this started. If you don't want to look like Fluff the Magic Dragon, take it slow. Okay, so this is the dye. It's already going wrong. <laughs> Three drops of the magenta, and pray that this machine is not breaking the process. So 
word to the wise, probably should do the dye before the flower. Unless you have an amazing mixer. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, I have a really hard time getting this off of here. Don't judge me. I can't get it off. <laughs> what? Not me, Is it really that hard? It does. I have Bryce to do it every time. Ah, oh, please. Really? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> okay, Dad. Oh, see, it was even hard. You had to pour. <laughs> now that that so easily, graciously came off of here, let's go ahead and make some cookies. So you'll notice the absence of wax paper. Because believe it or not, wax paper when you're baking cookies makes them stick. <laughs> <laughs> now I only mentioned that because last time we had a lot of helpful folks letting us know that was a dumb dumb move and we needed to do parchment paper. My words, not theirs, they were much nicer. We're just gonna do this old fashioned butter. They're all small, so they last for longer. Eight minutes at 350. She has decided to move into this house. Yeah, yeah, it's a house that we brought her home from the hospital when mm -hmm. she was a baby. She kind of grew up her first five years, five years of mm -hmm. life there. Now she's back. Full Again, circle. yeah, full circle. Welcome home. <laughs> wow, it looks like you guys have already started lots of work. Want to come see it? Yeah. Hi. Hey. I love all the windows. Can you picture yourself living here, Shay? Yeah. <laughs> The house needed interior paint. Since Shay's gonna be living there, she might as well pick out all the paints. And so she did. How's it going, Shay, over here? Going good. We're repainting the walls. See this pretty blue, and Bree went over there and she painted a pink wall. What is wrong with this picture? What? Unbelievable. They forgot to paint that piece. I have a question. Yes. What was the color of this house when you guys first moved here? Pink. Yes. What's the color of that wall? Pink. The lady who owned the house before us, she was so proud of all the pink walls. We couldn't get the pink off the walls fast enough. <laughs> and we are painting pink. <laughs> the circle of life. Yes. Do you think it's the same color pink too? I kind of think it is, because it was a light pink. It won't be exact, but it's so close. men, they put signs up on their man caves. I just paint the wall pink. The man-free zone. And all I needed was paint. Here's the thing though, Shay. That I have all those pink tools, and it does not stop her. We use them, don't we, Dad? They think that they're theirs. They are they, ours. You guys like them because you always know where they're at. They're put away. Why would we use them if it weren't put there's away? A, there's a difference sense. between sneaking around and using something pink <laughs> and openly supporting it. <laughs> Good point, <flight>, Shay. Because <laughs> they know they can sneak your tools out of the bag and go use it and sneak it back and no one will even know it. They'll be like, what, me? No, mom did that job. Well, they don't sneak them back. If they put them back, I would have no problem with them using them. I don't know. I put them back someplace else than where I got them. They're put somewhere. These are the power poles we got, and that's what I'm gonna be using to raise these beds. I'm gonna go through and grab out all the poles I want here for the aquaponics system. What do you think, Azalea? You ready to work? I don't think she's gonna be able to help us today. She's got a full schedule of napping. <laughs> this pole split in half when I dropped it off, and you can see it's because it's hollow. Look at this, there's a big beehive right in the middle of it. That's pretty cool. There's still honey in some of that. Look at that. There's a couple pine ones in here that are really nice. So I'm going to cut these all at three foot chunks. And that's going to give us a foot in the ground, two foot standing up, and then there'll be a foot of tank. So all the tanks are going to set at about three foot tall. That way you can reach all the way across. Plus, that way I have a lot of material here that I can pick from. It's pretty crazy where that beehive broke open. Like a half hour later, it attracted all of these bees. Look at this. They're all through here, and then the hive itself, pretty crazy. Baby's over there, safe, but I don't think the bees are gonna do anything. They're pretty focused, trying to get stung. The 
carpet guy came in and cleaned these carpets and you can see they're in pretty good shape. So we really didn't want to get new carpets, but there was still some just smells in the carpet. I went online and I found this guy called the Odor Dude. I paid $9.99 and I got his formula and mixed it up in this little bucket here. If it comes clean, I definitely will leave a link to it. Four different ingredients. What's the verdict, Mom? Check this out, Brie. So I just kind of spread it on the floor and look at this. I mean, I, I did this whole little section and he says wherever there's something odor-ish, it'll pop up in these foam things. Wow. Isn't that something? It is, oh my gosh. And it might just be my mental state, but I feel like it's nicer in here already. There's a disinfectant in here too, so we're killing germs. You could lick this floor when we're done. Well, I don't know if I would recommend that. <laughs> Can I test something real fast? Yeah. I'm still scouting them. So right here, we're gonna do- So he's debunking it right now. And what happens if we put a lot right here, trying to spot? This isn't foaming up now. Okay, that's why you do tests. Sometimes you test the three. Perfect. That was good, right? Very cool, Mom. You can actually see that I hit the edge of it because right here is where I actually really poured it. And it was spread and out. And it spread out and hit that. Wow, that is incredible. There was a big bounce out by this door that's kind of going away. Very, very, very cool. To say that I'm really impressed with how the odors came up out of the carpet. We liked it so much we're gonna make it for a little spray bottle here at the house and use it when necessary. Good job, odor dude. You did it and they got a good product out there. So we have it. Perhaps not the magenta that this is, but it's bakey close. You know what I mean? Well they look very Valentine-y. Do they? Yeah. Do you feel the love? Makes you like taste the love. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and hey, they don't take too long to make, so if you might have forgotten something for your Valentine. <laughs>Shay picked out all the colors. She's very pastel -y. Okay, good. We're gonna go get more paint. We're gonna get a couple fan lights. We were thinking about even those back windows, you know, shortening them and getting some ones that open and close because those are just picture windows. But Shay immediately said, no, I love these windows. It makes you feel like you're outside mm -hmm. in that room. And now with the bright colors, it's even yeah, more yeah. so. And yeah, we'll have even more birds trying to fly into those windows. <laughs> yeah. right? right. We were right. living there. We always had birds trying to fly through there. They did. They ran into the poor little things. We would think that they were dead because they would lay there, but they were just knocked they out. out. And then yeah. they get up and off yeah, their with a <laughs> Flapping with half a wing. Yeah. No. <laughs> she did some research, didn't she, on the pink colors? Yeah, she did some research online to find out what makes a house more valuable, like a blue kitchen makes a house more valuable than wow. versus a yellow kitchen. She did a lot of research on it, so it's kind of cute. That's cool. Of course, being a guy, you know, the colors that she picked would be not like man colors. They were girl colors and stuff, so, which was cool for her because like she's living there, right? That's her deal. So I, I was a little concerned about the colors, but they look good. They look really cute. Definitely girly. Yeah. They brightened up the place. They go really well with that floor. Yeah, floor, and it just made the room pop open. Come on. 
Mom, your ladybug is so cute. Where'd you get your ladybug? It's my Valentine's gift. <laughs> By the way, thank you, honey, for my Valentine's gift. Oh, what did I get you? That right there. It took me forever to find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is prime time. It's a paintbrush priming the yes. walls for prime yes. time. Because okay. oh, we had to okay. prime the the house. Yeah. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, tote bag, all kinds of fun stuff that we have over on our shop page, as well as all the previous designs that we've done in the past, the link will be down in the description. We have 20% off all products in the store for today only, so if you'd like to get in on a 20% off sale, uh, be sure to check it out. We post three videos a week on Mondays is our podcast. Podcasts have become a place where we're able to answer any questions or share comments and advice <laughs> that we get from the Weekly Peak. And the podcast will address those. Yeah. It's usually the podcast that follows the video. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. kind of the Weekly Peak follow-up. Yeah. And then, of course, on Wednesdays, it's our recaps or full versions come out. And those are one subject pulled from our Weekly Peaks, which are these here. This is our variety show that's posted every Friday night, a brand spanking new one. I want to wish you all a wonderful Valentine's Day today. And yes. So spending time with. Look what I have. So this, I have this ladybug with, with red flowers on it. Be so surprised. I'm so shocked. I know. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Yeah. I do really like it. That's cute. Honey. <laughs> Don't forget your Valentine's this week. So because you need to give them a ladybug and a flower. We really appreciate you being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! Thank you! Anyway, this pull is done. So, we'll chuck him off to the side and figure out what to him do with him later with the mesquites that we have too. When they're younger, they've got these thorns and they're like, stay back. And then they get a little older and they get a little more mature. Not as scared of the world. <laughs> In Bree's defense, she was thinking she had to come back and repaint this piece right here because it's kind of showing. So she was thinking about getting that when she came back. family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Do you remember the backyard? That tree back there? Yeah. Do you remember the Christmas? Took our picture with all the kids in the tree. Oh. Our first Christmas picture was done in this tree. I actually That's still have that picture. I see it daily. Yeah, they're wearing Western gear, you know, <laughs> at that time because we're kind of in that area there in the desert. Pop guns and stuff, you know. It was, it was really cute. I think one of them's holding a chicken. I think so too, yeah. yeah. Yep, it's happening. And you do butter and then there you get a scissors right there. Yeah, well, that, would be, that would be easy. <laughs> Gluttons for doing it the hard way. <laughs>